Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Evolution Worlds. Well, I have to admit, this probably is an odd pick, considering of all the games I could have went with, I picked the game that didn't get any votes in the last poll at all, and it's not like there weren't games I couldn't have picked that had some. But I figured I'd go with something a bit mediocre and different from what I usually play, at least in terms of the animation style, because this game's pretty cartoonish, to be honest. Since that thing's in the back row, I get two hits. I love it. Now I'll take it out with my trusty frying pan. I can't believe it! Why can't you? Oh, uh, let's see. Ooh, my ocarina. Gotta trust my trusty ocarina. Hmm. You know, I've heard of ocarina summoning storms, but never a rock before. Don't you have to love how it gets crushed flat, though? Like you're in a Tom and Jerry cartoon or something? The TP is used to unlock new skills. Which is pretty handy, actually. A wimpy monster like that was a piece of cake, not even a If you couldn't handle a wimpy monster like that, then you're not worthy of the title adventurer, Mag. Seriously. We've come this far. The treasure must be nearby. You can still go on, right? Why wouldn't she? She didn't, like, take any damage that fight. Good. Then we are officially back in business. Hey, look at this. This will get us out of the trickiest of situations. Why are you talking about that thing now of all times after we just had our first practice battle? So let's do it. That line just fell completely off place. This is so obvious. This has to be a trap. If it's so obvious, why are you about to step into it? Like, why would you just stand there and step into it? Like an idiot. Well, I don't believe it. Why don't you believe it? You already told us it was a trap! No way! Whoa. Let's get out of here! Aren't you gonna run? I realize that was meant to be funny, but it just makes her look clueless and stupid. doing, Linear? You have to run away when things get dangerous. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm okay. I'm not hurt. What about you? Are you hurt? Huh? Hey, Linear! That's the messenger of light. That's the one the society told me about. All right, we did it. Linear, this is the place. The treasure must be on top of that picture. Well, well, Mag Launcher. Still going on adventures with that scaredy cat girl, huh? That voice. Oh, it couldn't be. Yep, it is. And I helped myself to all the treasure. If that's all the treasure, there wasn't really anything worthwhile here anyway. Chain, how did you get here? And where did you get that treasure? Ha! I'm an adventurer too, you know. And finders keepers is the only rule among adventurers. Not if I can take it from you by force. There's no way your psi frame could have made it up here anyway. Cause unlike mine, it can't fly. <laughs> you should be grateful to me for saving you the needless effort.
I heard this loud noise, then saw you guys running for your lives. Crow shouldn't fall for a trap like that. You sorry excuse for an adventurer. You dirty rotten. You shouldn't even be here interrupting my work. The ruins are off limits to amateurs. <laughs> I'm not an amateur. I'm just very bad at my job. Hey, don't get so mad. Look, you're frightening Linear. Mad? Who's mad? I'm just saying what any professional would say. I don't really buy that. And man, that hair is very angular, isn't it? It's that temper of yours that makes people mistake you for a man. Ouch, that's a low blow, man. Jane, if you could just stay calm and quiet, you might actually be kind of cute. Oh, come on, you know you like them fiery. Put it that way. I guess I wouldn't mind helping you, Mad. After all, I would be a hundred times more help than an amateur girl like her. Not really, considering she has healing skills and you do not, if I remember correctly. So if you ever need my help, just come to my place. I'm out of here. I wouldn't want your help. Cause I have to pay for it. That's shame. No one can ever accuse her of not speaking her mind. It's still a weird name. And she took the treasure with her. Well, why wouldn't she take the treasure with her? She found it first. Oh man, without the treasure, I won't make any money on this assignment either. Oh. Actually, you'll probably lose money. assignment ends in failure. I can just see Gray's angry face. I'll get another long lecture. Well, you probably deserve it, kid. I see. You reach your destination and are about to begin collecting the treasure. But Chain Gun beats you to it. Your mission ends in failure, and you get nothing from the society. Uh, that about sums it up, yes? Chain Gun? Seriously? Yeah, I guess so. I sorta had to use a lot of items. <laughs> I lost money on this assignment. <laughs> Mag. Listen to yourself. Sorta had to. Lost money? <sighs> yeah, I know what you mean, Gray. But seriously, we could definitely use a chain gun around here. Not the character, an actual gun. For generations, the Lancha family has produced the most renowned adventurers in these parts. Is it not the Lancha family's long-cherished dream to find Evolutia, the legendary side frame? Yet now, our operations lose money, and we depend on the society for work. Someday, we will find Evolutia, and Phoenix-like be reborn. That is why I need your help, Mag. Come on, Gray. You worry too much. I know what to do. I won't make any more mistakes. I promise. That's a pretty big promise there, kid. Hmm. Very well. I truly hope so. Mag, you don't know the importance of your position as head of the Launcher family. Or do I just worry too much? He's the head of the family? Where's his dad at? Or any other adult, for that matter? He is too carefree. He lacks seriousness. He's downright irresponsible. And he's right behind you. Um, hey, Gray, I'm standing right here, you know. Hey, it's my job to make those kinds of jokes. Shut up, Mag. Hey, are you even listening to me? Nonetheless. I have served the Launcher family for many years. I have seen many adventurers. 
My experience tells me that his puzzling confidence is the unmistakable mark of a true leader. Someday he will grow into a magnificent adventurer. That I know he can be. Now then, Mag, you and I must work together to meet that glorious day come. Uh, yeah, sure. Then let's begin immediately by going into town to ask the Society for a new assignment. Society assignments, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Instead of sitting around, let's go out and earn the big bucks. Let's go for it, Linear. Let's show them what we can do. <laughs> Amazing! Incredible! It's a jade coin from the Third Dynasty! Where is this coin, anyway? It's so rare to find something from that period, let alone in such perfect condition. It's just a little something to say, hi, let's get to know each other gift. Huh? Me? No, I couldn't. I just... Yeah, I love how they're too lazy to even animate his mouth here, like everyone else. <laughs> nice meeting you, cutie. I'll be working here a while, so I'll see you around. Bye. Hello, honey bun. You look a little young to be an adventurer. Hmm, but isn't that a sci frame on your shoulder? What? Uh, are you talking to me? Yeah, that's right. I'm an adventurer. Mag Launcher's the name. Mag Launcher, really? Imagine that. Meeting such a famous adventurer the minute I walk into town. I don't know if famous is the right word. I think infamous is the more correct term, considering how much bad luck that family's had. Everyone knows who he is because of the t downturn in their family fortune. I'm so lucky. That's why I'm positively addicted to the wandering life. You never know who you're gonna meet. How do you do? I'm Pepper Fox. You can call me Pepper, little Meg. Nah, I'd rather call you Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> it feels kind of weird to have a stranger call me by my first name. Does that mean I'm famous? Why, of course you're famous. Everyone knows about the decline of the once great Launcher family. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> oh, that side frame looks like it's seen a lot of use. With you in charge, the Launcher family is surely in good hands. Knock him dead, kid. Uh, by the way, is that girl behind you your partner? She doesn't seem to have a side frame. Yeah, her name's Linear. She's not a side frame user, but we do adventure together. Really? It must be tough keeping up with you, Meg. You look like the type of guy who thrives on danger. <laughs> I just knew it. I feel for you, girl. Being an adventurous girlfriend must be so hard. I bet that I could teach you two a thing or two. <laughs> you probably could. I'll be checking out the scene at the milk bar, so come around and see me sometime. I'll even go on one of your adventures. If you got the right amount of money on hand. She doesn't work for free. She's quite expensive, actually. But she's uh, arguably the best character in the game by far when it comes to combat, so I guess she earns her keep. Though it is sort of weird that she'd go check out the scene at the milk bar of all places. Why not an actual bar? Don't want to upset the little kitties. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, little lover boy. See you around. Bye. Wow, that pepper is really cool, don't you think, Lenny? And she can shoot lasers and heat rays and snow rays. It's really weird. That gun is really useful. I just don't know how it fires hot and cold at the same time. Well, he doesn't shoot at the same time, but still, how does it have so many different settings? Makes me think of a justice pistol. Of course, I'm talking about Judge Dredd. Jeez. Well, hello there, Mag. Welcome to the Society. Are you going on an adventure with Linear? Yeah, you could say that. 
So, do you have any new assignments, Nina? Nina? I gotta talk about Breath of Fire 2 now? I thought about doing that, actually, instead of this game, but... It's like... I could do my favorite game ever, or I could do a relatively easy game. This Breath of Fire 2 can be a bit tricky near the end, and I get sort of grind um, happy in that game, too. I like to grind on Monster Island. Really power myself up. I need one, because I took a beating on that last assignment. Chain beat me to the treasure at the last minute. That's what I heard. <laughs> Did your servant Gray give you his standard lecture again? How can you let that happen, Mag? Very funny. You know everything, don't you? After all, you're pretty much a veteran of the society. Veteran? Are you referring to my age? I resent that. I just have a lot of experience here. Unlike the people sent from the other offices, I was born in this town. A lot of experience? That's a veteran. I understand perfectly. Anyway, I wish somewhere there were ruins just loaded with treasure, but without any pain in the butt monsters. Mag, that can't happen. Monsters and treasure and ruins all go together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I mean, the monsters are obviously the jelly, the treasure is the peanut butter, because that's arguably the best part for most people. And then the ruins are the bread. I mean, you just can't have all of them to get, without have a ruin and treasure without monsters. It just doesn't work. Dream on. If such places existed, the society would have sent its own people to investigate them long ago. And she's got a point there, too. If such places did exist, they wouldn't send you in, because all your good is at fighting. Like... <laughs> That's what you have a ciphering for, right? So you can beat the crap out of monsters? But we can't, and that's why we hire ciphering carrying adventurers like you. Ray. So we're effectively mercenaries that explore dungeons for a price. Yeah, I guess so. Only one of the ruins can be requested now. Is this one okay? Okay, I got it. Sure, I'll do it. Because I have to do it. All right, I'll get you clearance right away. You can leave on your new adventure whenever you're ready. I know they're far, but it's no problem because your family has a seaplane, right? It's just a hop from the landing field. Well then, good luck. Give it your best, Meg. Come on, Linear, let's go. I probably can go explore town and see if there's any um treasure chests or whatnot that can be found too, right? Um, so that'd be really helpful. A bed. Um, I know what he means. I, I still got a table from one of my deceased grandparents I keep in my room. Um, Why would you want, like, small places? Most people don't like being trapped in small rooms. It can be really annoying. Okay, we got a warehouse in here. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Thanks for repairing the seaplane. So we can put a bunch of stuff in this one. Gotcha. Hmm. I think I'll worry about going on our first real adventure later. I can't believe there's just this many cutscenes in this game. And it's really cutscene heavy. Like, after the first dungeon, you get hit like with almost half an hour worth of cutscenes. It's insane. Oh, I'm sure there is a tank in there. Because why wouldn't there be? I think I'll save for now, and next time we'll go to an actual dungeon. And then we'll get to watch a whole sea of cutscenes. Till next time, then. See ya.